the roof was taken off, uh, walls collapsed. You can see the damage here at our high school gymnasium. Uh, this wall was collapsed. It just brought tears to my eyes. It's hard to see that. You know, I've lived here for 15 years. I love this place. Uh, and so it was hard. Those are school officials from Jacksboro, one of the hardest hit cities by a tornado. Widespread destruction was reported, including significant damage to the high school, with officials saying it is not clear when they'll be able to reopen. Good evening, and thank you so much for joining us. I'm Lauren Linville. And I'm Daryl Franklin. The community of Jacksboro is cleaning up after the tornado yesterday afternoon left major damage to schools, cars, also homes there. Yeah, Marquisha Jackson was in Jacksboro talking with those residents who are starting the road to recovery. So, Markeisha, what did they say the past 24 hours have been like for them? Lauren, residents say they felt just about every emotion, but now their focus is on working together to ensure Jacksboro makes a strong comeback. Well, I've never seen a tornado. I've never been in a tornado. I'm 90 years old. That's what 30-year resident of Jacksboro, Miss Francis, shared after living through the severe tornado that struck Jacksboro, leaving the community to pick up the pieces. Residents say it all started with loud sounds of thunder that they thought would pass by, but tornado sirens made them realize this was serious. I immediately went, ran inside, told all the boys to get under the stairway. I went upstairs to my son's brother's room. Got him. He was trying to get his bird. I helped him get his bird. And all of us huddled up under the stairway. Joseph Cortez says he's visiting Jacksboro from Florida, and this was his first tornado, too. And at the time, he just hoped his neighbors were bracing for cover as well. I ran to the back bedroom and got the dog, and we got in that clock, uh, bed, bathroom in there. And just as I got in, got the door shut and hit. And I run, got in the shower, and, and that's when I mean it. Terrible. Francis says she heard her home being completely ripped apart. The entire rear side was torn off and she became trapped under the rubble. But little did she know Cortez, her neighbor from across the street, was coming to her rescue. As soon as I realized everyone was safe, I immediately ran outside to see if there was any elderly outside that needed help. And my neighbor was outside. I went and knocked, pounded on their door and asked if they needed help. They said they were okay. So then I, you know, went to the, they said there was an elderly woman next door and her house was totally destroyed. I heard somebody holler, is there anybody in here? And there was a guy across the street came over. I don't know who he was. He was just busy. He got us out. So I couldn't get out. There was so much. All the ceiling had fallen in and everything. That sense of being a good neighbor is what they both say keeps Jacksboro going at a time like this, with volunteers like Timothy Johnson coming from near and far to help. I live in Fort Worth now, but, but my good friend Jerry lives right here, and so I'm just here helping him, but it, it just overflows, you know. You, you see so much devastation, and you just say, how can I help these people? How can I help these people? You know, I'm from Florida, and you know, I, I always say that Floridian people are very friendly. We're helpful out. But now I can say Texas people are very friendly. They're helpful out. Without even asking, they've already cleared this whole street off. Here, everybody. There's a guy here from Dallas that's worked just as hard as he'd go all morning. I didn't even know who he was. A community helping each other in one of the toughest times of all. Now for information on how you can help the community of Jacksboro, head over to this story on Texoma's homepage.com. Ms. Francis, she didn't even know who the person, one of them was, who was helping her. That's just wonderful. Mark, Keisha, thanks so much.